There are giant bodies of water just floating around in space. Astronomers say they have found a large water vapor cloud just floating around a black hole. This mass of water contains 140 trillion times the mass of water on Earth, and is 10 billion light years away from us. This is the largest discovery of water anywhere in the entire universe. If two of the same metal objects make contact in space, they will fuse together and stay permanently connected forever. This happens because the metallic bonds that keep atoms in place make little bridges to each atom. On Earth anyways, but in space, there is no layer that connects them, so the atoms just fuse together without any resistance. The sun is literally the largest thing in our known solar system. It's so big, in fact, that it takes up 99% of the mass in our solar system. The diameter of the sun is about 865,000 miles across. For some perspective, 1,000 Earths can fit inside Jupiter. And about 1,000 Jupiters can fit inside the sun, meaning 1 million Earths can fit inside our own sun. And if you didn't know, the Earth is pretty damn huge. Our moon is slowly drifting away from us each year. It moves 3.8 centimeters away from us yearly. This is actually caused by Earth's tides. You might say, but the moon is the one that makes the waves. And you would be right. But both the moon and the Earth let out gravitational forces. As the tides splash up and down on Earth, the planet is slowly reducing speed. The moon is the only other world that humans have physically been to. And the footprints and tire marks and whatnot will remain for a very long time. Predicted to stay there for as long as the moon is there, as there is no wind to blow it away. Scientists have discovered the largest diamond ever in 2004, in the form of a collapsed star. It is about the same size as our Earth. The star is apparently the coldest white dwarf ever discovered. The reason it is such a giant diamond is because the carbons were cooled so much that it began crystallizing, which resulted in an Earth-sized diamond. Fortunately, it is located 900 light years away, so there is no getting to it anytime soon. The light that we are seeing on Earth is about 30,000 years old. That means that this light was created in the core of the sun 30,000 years ago. That light spent a lot of its time getting through the dense atoms inside the sun. It takes about 8 minutes for the light from the sun to reach us here on Earth. So basically, we are seeing light from 8 minutes in the past. Although Mercury is the planet that is closest to the sun, it is not the hottest planet in our solar system. It's still pretty hot though. During the day when it's directly facing the sun, temperatures can reach 797 degrees Fahrenheit. But it is actually Venus that takes the title of hottest planet, with clouds that trap the sun's heat very well, keeping a constant temperature of 932 degrees Fahrenheit. Have you ever seen the moon get bigger when it comes closer to the Earth? Well, that's just a false illusion made up by your brain. It only looks bigger because on the horizon, things look closer to buildings and trees. Therefore, our eyes interpret the moon as being way closer to those objects than it really is. The furthest man-made object is Voyager 1. Its main mission was to visit Jupiter and Saturn in 1977, but now is further than the distance of the Sun to Pluto, which is 3.67 billion miles. It actually contains messages for potential aliens, with different kinds of music, sounds of the sea, people talking, animal sounds, and tons of images. 